So much drama, so little time. We are so glad. <laughs> Ken Brown, a senior columnist at the Wall Street Journal, is here. You have really followed this intimately for yes. years. Um, what are your impressions? I'm sure, were you shocked? We were shocked. <laughs> you know, two o'clock yesterday afternoon in New York, you see the headlines come and you're like, I cannot believe this happened. Uh, what was interesting was we had, you know, a comment uh, from someone in, in Malaysia. I love his quote because he said, uh, the nation feels so young and filled with hope again. Young, even though the man at the top is 92. It's, he's, they said it's like a re reboot. I mean, I had read that he was indefatigable in campaigning. It was amazing. He was out in villages. I mean, this is a pretty big country. He was out in villages talking to 100 people about national pride, about we need to get your standard of living higher. Like, really... He even took this whole big complicated financial scandal and brought it down to simple things, which is the Prime Minister Najib is living like a king with all this money that he stole and you guys are poor. And I need to, we'll get back to the larger conversation in a second, but just to stay on that point, some people are saying, look, will it be a good development? Will it not be a good development if he tries to prosecute? right now on those issues. Yeah. As you, as Jack says, he's innocent. He had nothing to do with this. He has denied it all along. Um, it would really help the country, you know, get this behind it. Uh, there's a lot of money. He, um, Mahathir said he could get a lot of money back. The U.S. government's been trying to seize assets. And so it would benefit the, the, the Treasury. I mean, they still, have, they still have bills from this scandal that they have to pay off. Um, but it could create a big split. Now, Najib's not particularly popular. It's not like there's going to be a big popular uprising right. to protect him. And his wife, Rosma, who got the jewelry, is loathed in the country. And so that's another reason that they might go after him. And yet we get to governing. You're 92 years yeah. old. Yeah, no kidding. You're in a hurry. In terms of what he can do, I mean, perhaps on the economy, as you said, the nation's pride seems to be bad. But are there not still concerns, just also even when it comes to things like freedom of the press? Yeah, so um, during the campaign, Najee put this fake news law, which, you know, is totally vague, in place. And everyone was like, oh, free speech is gone here. And Mahathir said after he was elected, well, we'll examine that. He's also said, well, we'll repeal it. But I don't know if he's going to repeal it too quickly. He was a strong man. He was a tough guy. Um, you know, he put his deputy in jail. He did a lot of nasty stuff. So it's not really clear. And in terms of what the blowback is going to be here for the economy, good or bad? I know you follow this very closely. Yeah, so the economy is pretty healthy. Um, they have too much debt, but they're not, they're not in bad shape. Um, he's been very negative on the Chinese. So as the Americans were prosecuting this whole scandal, mm -hmm. China came in and said, hey, we're happy to invest in your country. We don't really care about this scandal. And there's been a lot of investment. Mahathir is like, well, wait a minute. We don't want this much Chinese influence. So that, that could change things. Um, the economy is still commodity dependent, and so depending on what happens in those markets, um, one of the big frustrations was uh, Najib put a big tax, uh, a new tax in the in the economy, and the GST, the goods the, and services exactly. tax. Exactly, yeah. and so the uh, Mahathir may repeal that. As he said he would. Yeah. That's not going to leave him with a heck of a lot of money left over. Exactly, exactly. So it, it could be rough patches still, even for him. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, it, it, it's a real, it's a, it's a commodity dependent economy to some extent. I mean, they have a lot of educated workforce, but if, if, you know, oil prices are pretty high now, other commodities are pretty high. If things slow down, if China slows down, that's a real problem for them. They export a lot to China. Wow. Democracies strike back, don't they? Exactly. Absolutely. Surprising, yeah. Hey, and at 92, maybe Joe Biden's getting some ideas. What do you think, Ken? We'll get you on the record on that. Man, he's got a way to go. <laughs> well, 92, Ken, where are we at here? Thanks so much for coming in. Thank Appreciate you. it.